Hello wonderful YouTube viewers and thank you for being here watching. My name is Jay and this is Heart and Soul Tarot. I do have another pick of card reading here for you but I do just want to quickly say a massive thank you for this beautiful deck that I received um, last week. Sorry it's um, taken me a while to get back to you but I just want to say thank you ever so much to Yanya. I think I'm saying it right. I apologise if I'm not but yeah this beautiful deck um, was delivered to me a week ago and it is absolutely beautiful. Some wonderful messages inside and I am actually using those as we speak. So for this pick of card reading we're going to take a look at what your person's next actions are most likely to be. This is looking at sort of a two week period okay so um, yeah just bear that in mind. These are general readings, these cards don't want to stay still for me. Um, these are general readings, if you were interested in a personal reading then you can reach out to me by emailing me at heartandsoultaro at outlook.com and my email address will be below as well as any links that you might need for decks I use or decks I create myself. We have option one here, option two and option three. If you need more time, then pause the video here. Otherwise, we're going to take a look and see what your person's next action is likely to be. Hi there, Group 1. Welcome to your reading. Thank you for being here. Okay, so let's put your cards out for you. We have Freya, the Goddess of Discernment. Beautiful. We have Take Time to Breathe Out. Wombat Spirit, number 68. Star Mother. We have the Seven of Water, the Seven of Wands, the Star card, we have Very Soon, Healer of Ages and your written messages from the Self Empowerment deck you have, there are many lessons to learn. You have shown me true love is not just in fairy tales, beautiful. Okay, group one, let's take a look here. So I do feel there is going to be a shift, okay, coming up in for you um, soon. Your person is at least thinking about making some sort of an offer here, okay. Um, what I am feeling is that it might not even be an offer of a relationship or anything like that, okay. It could just be an explanation for some of you. It could be um, some sort of understanding as to why they have behaved the way they have in the past is what I'm getting here. I do feel that with the star mother, how can you mother yourself here? Um, I do feel that perhaps you are this very nurturing energy and your person is thinking a lot about that at this time. There could even be that um, dynamic there where there is the motherly figure within you um, and this person really appreciates that about you. It could also be some sort of mother healing going on at the moment as well um, for some of them. Right now I feel your person is um, going within themselves. Okay, We have the be at home with the wombat spirit there um, and I feel they're looking within themselves to find the answers here. They could be dreaming a lot Okay, with a star card being here. For some of them, okay, they could be seeing you as out of reach as well at the moment and that could be why there isn't a lot of action here at the moment, okay? Um, I do feel there is a lot of emotional confusion with this particular group. We've got the Seven of um, Water here. It's a complex decision for them to make. Um, they need to do more research, um, but they also need to pro stop procrastinating is the message with that card that... Um, and I do feel there is a slight delay here, okay? I feel this person wants to take action towards you. That's the feeling I'm getting. But right now, putting it into action is something different for them. For the Seven of Wands, okay, they could be quite defensive at the moment. Um, or they could just be defensive in regards to their heart space, at least, okay? Um, but I'm also feeling, that there's, like I said, some sort of a shift here. And I do feel they're going to go from that kind of energy where they feel the need to defend themselves to more defending the relationship, the connection itself, and actually standing up and fighting for this connection. Although the card says very soon, okay, I'm feeling quite a slow moving energy, and it is one, so it is, you know, it's fire energy. I feel that you might hear from this person, as I've said, okay, to explain what they're going through soon. As for any action, I feel it's going to take longer because I do feel, as I say, you know, I mentioned mother healing here, but we have the healer of ages here as well. I do feel your person is looking deep within themselves, actually saw 444 as I look at them. Um, for, they are looking within themselves at this time, okay, to do some healing work. 
This is a number six, so I feel they are trying to find themselves more balanced. Okay, they could be going through enlightenment as well um, with the illumination there. We do have the fire here, okay, so there's a lot of fire energy here. We have water energy and we have Aquarius energy quite strongly as well. For some of you, okay, could have been during the Aquarius season just gone, but something significant has happened here. I do feel this person will eventually reach for the stars, which, you know, they see as you. They see you as some sort of a star here, and they will reach for that. Um, but it's more of a process is what I'm really strongly getting here. Yeah, this person has many lessons to learn, okay? And I feel that you've learned a lot of lessons with this person as well. I feel you learn lessons together. You come into each other's lives um, to teach each other these lessons that you've been experiencing. Obviously, it's going to be different for each of you. Um, and you've also shown this person that true love is not only in fairy tales. It is here in the real world. Okay, And I feel this could have triggered your person because, uh, maybe because of mother issues, okay, or family issues in general here. Um, you know, because we do have, as I say, the be at home card as well. So that kind of fits with the family network there. Time to breathe out, okay, so just allow this to happen. Um, when your person does approach you, I feel it will almost be like, you know, a sigh of relief for them then, okay, because I feel holding it in and battling this, um, being so defensive, is causing them more com emotional confusion, if anything. With Freya here, the, okay, the goddess of uh, discernment, I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy yes. And that's beautiful. I love this message. It's one of my favourite cards from this beautiful new deck that I have, the Divine Feminine. Um, but yeah, really positive energy here. And this heart chakra is lit, okay? So what I'm feeling is your person does have these feelings for you. I feel they want to be sure. They want to know that they can give you what they need to give you in order to have a happy, fulfilled life with you is what I'm feeling here. I feel they're doing a lot of soul searching at the moment and they could be saying no to a lot of things at the moment, okay? You could be saying no as well, okay? What I'm feeling here is if this person doesn't come back right and they don't come back and offer you what it is you need and you uh, want from this connection, then you yourself are only going to be saying yes if it's really, really worth it. I feel that both of you are kind of at the same place in regards to that. Okay, I want to get a love... Um not a love, sorry, a magical spell card for you. Oh, and the one that has jumped out for you is actually magical powers. Beautiful energy. There is something very magical about this connection, okay? The star kind of indicates that as well. As well as beautiful magical healing that is occurring, okay? The star is also a healing card as well as these two here. This person recognises the magical power within you is what I feel. You've recognised your own magical power so during these lessons, here's what I'm feeling as well. And, you know, magic, just in general, things are, um, are becoming clearer for you. And manifestation powers are strong at the moment. I'm actually being drawn to the shooting star here. So, yeah, making wishes. Um, and, again, the star, I do feel Aquarius energy is significant for some of you here. Um, but the rest of you, it is about, you know, just making wishes on dreams and this person is hoping is very hopeful that something can come of this situation but right now i feel that they might offer you an explanation or something like that as to why they're behaving the way they are um but not much forward movement because they have to do some inner healing work is what i'm strongly feeling here group one and that has been your reading and um, please do give a like share subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to and um, thank you ever so much for watching and i shall speak to you soon take care bye Hi there group two and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look at what your person's next actions are likely to be. So your first card, we have white buffalo calf woman, the prophecies of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true in true abundance. Beautiful energy here. Wow, what a beautiful start. Okay, so white is obviously a colour of purity and really positive energy. Okay, healing as well is what I'm getting from this. And I do feel that your hearts are being drawn to one another. Okay, my heart is a compass here. It's like your direction. Um, it's sending out energies of the direction home then if you like okay i'm being drawn to the teepees here okay so what i'm feeling is perhaps you know maybe some of you enjoy camping perhaps you met this person at a festival something in regards to that okay but some sort of alternative living style as well is what i'm feeling for some of you okay um or vacation could be of significance when you met this person but the, pa the path of love is true abundance beautiful i feel your person is realizing perhaps your person was quite um 
egotistical in the past maybe material things mattered more to your person in the past however i feel that now they are realizing that love is actually what love is actually what makes life worthwhile after all okay so your tarot cards then we have the seven of air we have the queen of swords and we have the ace of swords then we have contract number six we have i know i was harsh it was my defense Actually, I'm going to move that so you can see it better. Let me pop that there. Then we have, you are on the right path, beautiful. And that is this path to love, okay? This person realises that love is the right path. Now is the message I'm straight away getting there. Pop that there. We have children here. Council of Light. Armadillo Spirit. Personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer, beautiful. Okay, so we have a lot of air on the table here, okay? We have Aries, uh, sorry, not Aries, but it could be now. Aquarius, Gemini and Libra's energy represented strongly here. Could be sun, moon, rising or Venus, okay? But it doesn't have to be. But what we've got here, okay, is the seven of air. Now, seven of swords in the traditional deck, okay? Can speak about some deception, some not so positive behaviour, okay? Uh, more going on than needs the eye. And it can also speak about poor timing as well. So, and a strategy as well, okay? But we've got the Queen of Swords and we've also got the Ace of Swords. So what I actually feel is going on here is that this is some sort of a soulmate connection, okay? We've got the contract card here. Um... But I feel there has been some harsh behaviour in the past, okay? Be it on your person's part or your part. I am strongly feeling for the majority of you, it's on your person's part. And it has left you kind of in a state of, I'm not going to take any more nonsense. I am standing my ground. I've got my sword here and I will chop away anything that does not serve me. Anything that does not lead me on the path of love and a true abundance is what I'm feeling. What I'm also feeling is that your person is actually going through some sort of um moment of truth themselves okay um and realizing perhaps that this is part of their soul contract with this card being here like i said i feel you are soulmates okay um you would have signed up for this um whatever has been occurring okay believe it or not it is all part of your soul contract is the message here i feel your person could be trying to balance themselves out this way and scales right now is a little bit off okay and um, they are trying to balance themselves out and i do find see that they're going to find this clarity this truth that they wish to speak to you is what i feel for some of you it could be an apology okay because um with a seven of air as they say it could be not so positive behavior for some of you you've got children with this person okay or perhaps this person sees you as somebody that they could have children with but what i'm strongly feeling okay is that there could be childhood wounds being brought to the surface here for healing okay um but it's all divinely orchestrated everything like i've just said all, all this is part of this soul contract for you to share um, this Council of Light kind of confirms that divine orchestration help us in the subtle realms. So yeah, there is things going on behind the scenes, okay, to help you um, to fulfil this contract that you and this person have together. <clears throat> I do believe that you are setting healthy boundaries now, especially this Armadillo Spirit, you set healthy boundaries is the message that I already think that you're in that vibe, okay? You have got this, I'm not taking any more nonsense kind of approach at this time, okay? And your person knows this is what I feel. Your person actually um, <coughs> knows that if they come to you, they can only come with truth. That's what this Ace of Swords is about. It's about a brand new beginning based on truth, on clarity, on um, honesty, wisdom as well. Okay, we've got the birds, birds, the owls always remind me of wisdom. Something significant could have happened during the fall, during the autumn time, okay? But there is growth here. I do feel there has been growth within you and your person, okay? Um, and you are learning to set these beautiful, healthy boundaries. We have the card, um, personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in the cancer. So if there has been any, you know, not so wonderful things going on, know that this resolution is coming in for you. Cancer could obviously be of significance here in regards to a sign, okay, or a time period. Um, but yeah, this resolution is coming and you'd have, as I say, learned to set these healthy boundaries as a result. You are on the right path. You've um, taken these experiences and you've used that wisely to create um, healthy boundaries is what I feel. 
we do have the harvest card that has popped out for you for the magical spells card okay so like i say the autumn or um the fall could have been quite significant for you okay in this connection but it also speaks about harvest now okay if you've been through a lot with this person and now it's time um it's coming into this time of harvest okay the person knows that they were harsh <clears throat> oh gosh i'm losing my voice here okay a person might be struggling to speak their truth i mean i had a really funny throat chakra moment then um, I know I was harsh, it was my defence. This person is very guarded, is where I got, okay? Or it, at least in the past, they were very guarded. I do feel that they are dropping that slowly. Moving into their more true self is what I feel, okay? Um, and dropping those defences. But there they realise, as I say, they, they come towards you. They've got to come with truth because that's the only thing that you're going to accept now that you have these beautiful, healthy boundaries. That even if they haven't sort of spoken to you since these boundaries have been in place, they feel them, okay? Intuitively, they feel them. I want another magical card for you. And we have... Beautiful healing. So yeah, definitely healing going on here. Um, healing from the past, okay, your person healing so that they can um, be more in a balanced place, like I was saying earlier on, okay, so they find this truth and this healing. And we have the beautiful, you know, resolutions here as well as a result of this healing energy that is about the both of you at this time. And that is your reading group too. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation. Um, and yeah, in regards to what they're actually going to do, sorry, what they're going to do is um, come towards you with some sort of truth is what I feel, okay, to um, fulfill part of this destiny together. I do feel there is an opportunity to heal the connection, okay, with these healthy boundaries in place. And I do feel that this is very divinely orchestrated. And um, we do have seven, seven as well, okay. Um with this card and this card oh and actually we've got seven 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 here okay so this is some sort of divinely led connection um and your person is realizing this is what i'm getting they could even be coming in to offer you some sort of an apology but i think they're looking for the strength right now to do that group two and that really has been your reading um if this does resonate with you please do give a like share subscribe let me know in the comments i really appreciate each and every one of you and i shall see you soon take care bye Hi group three and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look. What is your person's next likely actions towards you going to be? We have the Black Madonna, our Lady of the Hermits. I transform pain and suffering into greater capacity to love. What a beautiful energy to have here, okay? But that does make me think that perhaps things have been particularly tough for you group three okay things have not been um balanced is what i'm getting here and there has been a lot of pain caused from this connection you are trans you are transforming that okay into this greater capacity to love i don't feel it's left you bitter or nasty okay it's just shown you more and it's taught you more about love and being more open to true honest love is what i'm really feeling here i also feel that your person okay um is healing as well at the moment okay and they are also um, opening up their heart chakra is what i feel here so your cards then we have the nine of fire some defensive behavior here but also do not give up okay um don't give up protect which is you, what you created have courage and believe in yourself beautiful message there okay and i do feel it's a very fitting message we have the three of wands here and we also have the four of cups here we have adjacent possibilities this is a love like no other. 888, eight, eight. money and financial abundance are on their way to you. Let your friends help you. Worth waiting for. <clears throat> Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. What do you need to release waning moon? Okay, so what I'm getting here, okay, this is somebody who has been thus far unable to accept your offer of love is what I'm really getting, okay? When I got the first card, it was about how I felt the heart chakra opening um, and this person could have been very closed off in love to the idea of love, okay, in the past. That four of cups kind of indicates that as well. Perhaps there has been an offer that's been rejected here. Perhaps this person has um, withdrawn, okay, gone within themselves. 
could be physical distance between you, okay, with the three of wands being here. But yeah, the nine of wands, okay, it's all about um the wounded warrior, okay, so almost completing a cycle of some kind, okay, um, but feeling really wounded. And the first card, like I said, the um, transforming pain into suffering, while it's a beautiful message, okay, it must show that there is suffering here of some kind. And I do feel that your person is still fighting on, okay, despite um, how they might be feeling. For some of you, okay, um, I feel this person is dealing with more than just the um, relationship, the connection, okay, do feel there is deeper healing going on here, perhaps you have triggered one another, okay, um, on this journey, with the three of wands, this person is trying to manifest you back into the life is what I feel, okay, um, but they're waiting for the perfect time here, okay, because they too don't want to be um, left in the cold, okay, they don't want their offer rejected should they make it to you is what I'm feeling here, which is why they're looking at adjacent possibilities, which is why they're looking at alternative ways in which to reach you. Um, so it could be subtle things that, you know, you could be still friends on social media or something like that. And they could be posting things and you're kind of niggling, wondering if that's about you. And I feel that it is. That's for some of you there. Um, but yeah, I feel that they're looking at alternative ways in which to reach you. But they're also waiting for this perfect timing because, as I say, right now they're feeling a bit wounded, okay? They are recovering, they're healing, okay? They're learning to open up their heart chakra. And I feel the reason they're doing that is because this is a love like no other. This isn't something that they experience every day. It isn't something that comes their way very often, okay? Um, it, they don't really know what to do with it is what I'm feeling here. I am feeling, you know, there is something that needs to be released within this connection, okay, for it to move forward, um, especially with this card being here. What do you need to release? You know, this is asking you and your person at this time could be wondering, you know, what is it they have to give up in life in order to have this possibility with you, this, um, this chance here with you. They could be turning to their friends a lot at this time, okay, so they could be asking their friends um, their advice, okay, and asking for support in that way. With this um, double mission here, okay, and this channeling and uplifting humanity, what I'm getting is that you could be channeling information, your person could, okay, but the double mission kind of makes me feel like, you know, the mirror effect, okay, so you have met each other to trigger fears, to trigger, um, well, re rejection, that kind of energy, okay, so that you can transform it into a greater capacity to love. For some of you in this group, okay, it could be the both of you were very closed off in the heart space, maybe both of you have been hurt in the past and now you've met each other, although it's a very deep, intense love, that kind of scares you because you're fearful of what's happened in the past and that could not just be your person's energy, it could be your energy too is what I'm feeling here. I do feel that you will be getting downloads of some kind, okay, so this could be um, information coming to you just out of nowhere where you kind of just know things, okay, trusting in your intuition is important at this time is what I feel. Be playful as well, okay, even though um, this person, it doesn't look like they're going to be taking an awful lot of action towards you within the next two weeks, okay, because that was the time frame that we looked at. Lots is going on behind the scenes, okay? They are waiting for the perfect timing, as I've said. In the meantime, okay, be playful, um, go out with your friends, enjoy and things like that is what I'm getting with this, okay? Um, I'm actually thinking of that really silly, funny uh, mating dance, okay, that um, those birds do, I don't know if it is sandpipers, but I'm going to look that up once I finish this reading. Um, yeah, that funny mating dance, I do feel that you and your person have the ability to be silly with each other, okay, um, even if it is during intimate times, perhaps there is still that fun energy there is what I'm feeling with that. We've also got the worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. So like I said, nothing much is going to be happening, I feel, in the next two weeks. But that's not to say that nothing's going to happen, okay? This is a slow um, process is what I'm getting here. Your person is realising, I feel, um, that they can let somebody in and that they can, um, they can open their heart chakra and feel love. I also feel, okay, for some of you, it could have been a case that this had to happen so that they could recover, so that they could understand they could survive in some kind of way. It's, it's a bit strange, but... Okay, so I'm getting some um, magical spell cards for you, just for further clarification. We have the victory card. This person does want <clears throat> a victory with you, okay? Um, it's number eight as well, okay? It's the sign of infinity. I do feel that you've learned lots of lessons together. Like I say, you've learned so much with one another. And obviously, we've got the 888 here, the money, financial abundance are heading to you. So finances are improving as well, okay? So, yeah, this 
victory, this in and out situation, which it could have been in the past, I feel it is coming into more balanced ground with these 888s, okay? Um, finance is going to improve. Perhaps that is playing a part, okay? Perhaps if you do, or especially if you live at a distance from one another, obviously finances are going to matter then when it comes to seeing one another. This also kind of reminds me of the Ace of Cups, okay? Um, it does look like it's hot chocolate or coffee or something like that, okay? Or maybe even a bowl of ice cream. But I feel this person could want to offer you this cup, okay? After a period of time and healing, um, they want to offer you this cup. They want this victory with you. Just one more card then, please. Yeah, definitely a love that has um, shook you and your person up is what I feel. It's a soul connection for sure. As I'm saying that earlier on, like about this and uh, needing money to travel, we have the safe travel card. It's also 22. You could be noticing synchronized numbers a lot, okay? 222, two, two, for example. Um, and it's just telling you just to relax, allow things to unfold. Everything's going to work out as it's supposed to. There's no need to panic kind of thing. 22 um, is obviously uh, in 11 as well, okay? 11, 11. So you could be dealing with a say soulmate twin flame and um, deep level of soul connection but yeah you both traveled is what i feel okay you are going through some spiritual journey together um and there's also the physical travel as well for many of you you could be at a distance from one one another and um, i do see perhaps this person wants to reach out and wants to travel towards you okay but i don't see as i say that happening for many of you within this next two weeks it's going to take a little bit longer but they are getting that and then we have the harvest card okay which is number seven um spiritual journey um the harvest can speak about the autumn time and obviously um october in particular is what i'm getting here okay seeing pumpkins something significant could have happened then it could be a birthday anniversary um it could be when this person actually comes towards you as well as what i'm feeling here okay so not a lot of action happening for you in the next two weeks, but lots going on behind the scene. This person really coming to some sort of a realisation that they can transform this pain and suffering into love, okay? And you have helped them on this journey to understand that is what I'm really feeling. This person is worth waiting for, but obviously it's up to you if you want to wait around for this person. In the meantime, okay, do enjoy yourself, do have fun, get out there and do what it is that makes you happy, okay? Let your friends support you at this time. But this person is thinking about reaching out to you, as I say, just waiting for divine timing here and looking at the alternative possibilities in ways that they can reach you. Perhaps for some of you, okay, you have actually blocked this person, um, so they're looking at different ways in which to contact you is what I'm getting there. Okay, so that has been your reading group three. Please do let me know in the comments below if it resonates with you. Please do give a like, share, subscribe. It really does help my channel out and I really do appreciate each and every one of you and I shall speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.